um, one likely beneficiary of uh, President Obama's announced budget plan is a Southern company. Now, Southern expects to be the first to get a nuclear power loan guarantee in the next few months. The chairman and CEO of Southern, David Ratcliffe, back with us. He's joining us from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, David, great to have you with us. So let's talk about those loan guarantees. I mean, how much do you guys ultimately expect to get? Well, I, I think, Carol, what we're doing right now is uh, we, we're in the final stages of negotiation with the Department of Energy and OMB about the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. But we think we could get as much as 70 percent of the uh, plan actually financed with the loan guarantee program. All right. Which what is that dollar somewhere terms? Around, that's about three and a half billion dollars. All right, so that's what you're expecting in, ter in terms of specific numbers. Um, let me ask you, though, at the same time, you know, what do we do with the nuclear waste? Because, as you know, the president has not given funds or allocated more funds for um, Nevada's uh, Yucca Mountain. I mean, so how do we deal with that aspect of it, a crucial aspect? Well, as you know, uh, we have paid into the Nuclear Waste Disposal Fund uh, for a number of years, several billion dollars as an industry. And the Department of Energy has a contract obligation to ultimately collect the used fuel and either dispose of it or reprocess it or permanently store it in some fashion. So far, with the closing of Yucca Mountain, the mm -hmm. question is, what will we ultimately do with it? I think the president has moved forward with appointing a blue ribbon commission to decide what the ultimate fate of used fuel should be. We believe that the used fuel has tremendous amount of potential use still in it. It has simply been through one cycle. It could be reprocessed mm -hmm. like the French have done for years, like the Russians do and the Japanese do, and we could, re we could realize significant uh, uh, more value out of the fuel as we go forward. But that'll take an extended period of time and a major investment in resource capability in this country. All right, but, you know, we obviously have to think about it because right now we've got, what, nuclear power generating about 20 percent um, of power generation. I think that was the numbers as of 2008, according to the Energy Department. David, how much, give me five years from now, how much do you think um, generation, power generation, will be the result of nuclear power? Oh, I don't think that number will change very much. In fact, in five years, the percentage will probably go down slightly because Nobody is going to build a new unit in this period of time. Our unit is scheduled for commercial operation in 2016 and 2017. Mm -hmm. So in this interim period of time, what you'll see is people predominantly building renewables or additional gas capacity to meet any increased load. That's what the industry will do in the interim. I think longer term, with what the president's proposed in his budget around expanding the loan guarantee program, you could see significantly more commitment to new nuclear capacity and expanding the capacity in this country. That's really what we believe we ought to be trying to do long term is using all of the options, all of the technology that's available to us as an industry. But, uh, so ultimately, I mean, you think it's more efficient, it's cheaper to use nuclear power. We don't have to rely on natural resources, but we do have to overcome that hurdle, right, of figuring out how to deal with the waste, whether you recycle it, uh, shoot it off to space or, or whatever you choose to do in the end. Well, we do, but realize that what the industry has done in the absence of the DOE fulfilling its commitment for a permanent repository, we've developed the capability to store on site in a very safe and secure fashion the used fuel that has currently been produced in, in the industry. So we know that we can do this and handle it on site in a stored, what we call dry cast storage in a very safe and secure fashion for an extended period of time. So it's not an immediate crisis that we face. David, you're obviously pursuing, you know, several avenues in terms of power generation. You're also, uh, your company's agreed to collaborate with uh, Ted Turner on solar uh, power plants. When do you expect the announcement of, of that first plant? Well, I, I, Carol, I hope we're pretty close within the next, uh, I think I said on our earnings call somewhere around the next 60 days, we hope to be able to announce an actual deal. You know, Ted Turner is a great environmental leader. He's got tremendous resources in the form of land capability in, mm -hmm. in, in the southwestern part of the United States, which is much more amenable to solar and wind than the southeastern United States is. Ted and I are good friends, so we began this discussion, and I hope it culminates in a deal that we can announce here in the next couple of uh, months. All right. Hey, David, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, our thanks out to David Radcliffe there from the Southern Company.